Hey guys, I'm here back with a quick video on how can you restore your Mac, MacBook Pro to factory settings. Um, I thought everybody knew this by now, but I guess not. Uh, it's actually not complicated at all. Uh, if you've looked at it before, there's supposedly two ways to do it, uh, but it's actually one way uh, to do it. And this is current for the, this should work for any Mac, or any Mac any iMac, uh, MacBook Pro, MacBook, MacBook Air, it's all the same thing. So what you want to do is you're going to want to power off your computer. Okay, you can either shut it down and power it up or you can restart it if it's already on. In my case, I would just restart it. And then just wait until it shuts down completely. When you hear when you hear the uh, the Apple logo, uh, the Apple sound uh, booting up, you're gonna hit uh, push on the Option key and just hold it. Okay, so just hold the Option key until you see two drives, two hard drives. Okay, there you go, and one of them says Macintosh HD, and the other one says Recovery. You're going to want to click on the one that says recovery. Oh, and before you do this, make sure that, I mean, if you bought the, um, uh, the, the Mac, uh, the iMac MacBook Pro, uh, make sure that their account, their iTunes account is already, uh, that they took it off already before you buy it. Because with the new update, with the Marvix one, um, it will ask you for it as soon as uh, it boots up when it's restored. So make sure, just make sure that the iTunes account has been removed from from the computer before you before you do this. If 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 um, if, if it's still there, uh, do not do this because you will not be able to access the, the computer without uh, removing the iTunes. It's the same thing with the iPhones. So continue continuing on. You're gonna click on reco uh, recovery, and then it's gonna take you to this uh, menu. Uh, from there, you're going to make two more steps. Now, the process for this does take a, a while. Um, the total time for this is about two hours for, for it to um, um, erase and reinstall software. to restore it. It takes about two hours to complete this whole process. So once you're in this menu, you're gonna get restore from time machine backup. That's if you wanna do it after after you erase it and you have a time machine, you're gonna click on that one. But in this case, I don't have that and I'm, I'm not gonna restore it. I'm just trying to restore it to its factory settings, so I can use it like if, like if I, like if I was a brand new, like if I was like if I just bought it brand new, pretty much. So to do that, you're gonna click on Disk Utility, then you're gonna pick the hard drive, which should be Macintosh HD. You're gonna click on Erase. And just click on erase right here on the corner. Erase. The erasing part is pretty easy depending on the, uh, it's pretty fast depending on the amount of stuff that you have in there. But once it's done, it, it won't tell you that it's done erasing it. It'll just, it, it won't show the loading bar no more. So after you do, do that, you wanna go back, you wanna close this window, and then you wanna reinstall the operating system. In this case, uh, I have the Marvix on it. Uh, you do not have to have it on there, but it's, uh, it makes it a lot easier because that's the newest uh, software op operating system for the for the Mac. So if it's not in, in your computer, in your uh, MacBook, Mac, uh, Mac book or Mac, uh, make sure you install it first to save yourself some time because it will download it in itself after it uh, restores so to save some time just download it and install it first uh, anyway just click right there re reinstall OS X continue 
to the license agree and you're gonna click on Macintosh HD uh, so after that it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID and password to download the software um, there's one trick and then it'll start do doing the whole process Okay, and this is the part where it takes a long, long time. So I'm going to cut the video right here. Um, uh, but after this, um, that's it. Pretty much uh, the computer is going to start off as brand new. Uh, you select your uh, language, um, uh, your the computer's name, uh, and it's also going to ask you for the Apple ID as well at the end. Um, so like I said, just make sure you, uh, if you bought it and you're doing this, then make sure that it does not have any other person's Apple ID in, on it. Okay, so anyways, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe for more how-to videos.